Good morning, everybody. It is Jack with Team Aquascape. We are out here in Sugar Grove, Illinois, and we are doing a pond rehab. Let me spin you guys around and show you guys what we have going on for you. We are going to build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. So, just showed up a half hour ago. We're gonna come in here and we are gonna redo this pond. It's gonna be a super cool pond. Kinda neat, something that I personally have not done this year per se, but we're gonna be coming in here and we're gonna be doing pretty much a half formal, half natural pond. So, we're gonna be doing a brick wall coming back from this corner of the deck all the way to this corner of the deck, all the way around here and all the way to this here. So, this pretty much from where I'm standing, from this post back to me or to this corner of the patio, back all this way is all gonna be formal. So we're gonna be going down 30 inches down and we're gonna be doing our brick walls all in here. So it's gonna be super formal, a lot of straight lines. It's gonna look awesome. But first order of business is going to be tearing out this pond. And we're gonna be moving all the rock out of here. So we're gonna take all the rock, stage it off to the corner. Then we can reuse all this rock for when we rebuild this pond. And once we get all that tore out, we're gonna be moving this skimmer, which just sits back underneath that piece of slate, back behind where that bush is at. So all these plants are gonna be coming out of here. Now this pond's roughly gonna be an 11 by 16, give or take. I know it's 16 feet long and then give or take a few feet going from where I'm at to that back corner over there. We might add a few jets in here just to get some circulation and push on this side of the pond because it's going to be kind of dead over in that area considering we have a skimmer on that side and the biofall is going to sit right where this biofall sits right now. So we have a little bit of work ahead of us this morning. It's going to look awesome the transformation that we're going to be making. So first order of business is going to be covering our patio which the guys are already doing right now. So we come in here we're going to have our fabric down. We're going to lay our mats down and then here are our tanks over here so we're gonna take our clean out hose with our clean out pump drop that in the pond and then we are gonna be filling our tank up it's only gonna take one tank it's roughly a 300 gallon pond so we have our aerators in there and then that way the fish and the lilies can stay in here while we upgrade their home and then we're gonna obviously net everything add detox make sure the fish are safe and sound and that way they're not gonna be stressed out at all and then we also have our pack outs and garbage can they're bringing the table back here we're gonna set all that stuff up so that way everyone knows where the tools are at so it's gonna be an awesome day. Guys are bringing product back here already. So stay tuned and we will show you what we have in store for you. a little bit different than the last time that you guys saw. We are 90% done tearing out all the rock. We just have probably 10 or 12 cobbles left that we have to rip out. Plants, all the aquatic plants are ripped out. We're gonna pull this liner out of here, get the biofalls out of here, and then we're gonna move some of those plants out of there because it's just gonna be a lot easier of getting in there right now. And then we're gonna be ready to start digging this pond in. So we are making pretty good progress. I think it's only a little after probably uh, 9 o'clock, 9.30. So doing good. That's a pile of rock that came out of here. So we wanted to stage everything far enough back where we could still access everything everything in the pond so it gives us plenty of room it's probably like a good eight foot difference around the pond that we can access so we're trying to make this thing as efficient as possible and that way we can get in here and we're not climbing over piles of rock and all of our garbage so turning out nice
Well, it's the end of day one. We didn't get as far as we wanted to get, but it is what it is. Tomorrow's a new day, so we're gonna come out here and we're gonna finish up what we have to do. So let me give you a tour of what we have to do. So what we have gotten done so far. Jack is over there finishing backfilling the pipe. We got the pipe from the skimmer up to the biofalls done. So the skimmer's in, biofalls is set, pipe is in. So that's all done. So that's a good thing. All right here is good to go. We're gonna bring out a fish cave tomorrow and it's gonna go off in this corner here. So we're gonna dig that out once we get the piece of pipe tomorrow. There we can for sure know exactly where we're gonna put it because we might move it to somewhere else. But coming over here, this is the more intricate part of it. And we had to make a lot of these walls nice and straight. And we had to dig back underneath that deck because we want to get our wall that you always see in all of our videos back behind the drip line of the deck. So that way it looks like pond was here and the deck got put on top of the pond. So we got all this dug out. So this pond looks a lot bigger. It's turned out pretty cool. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this is going to turn out considering it's going to be half formal, half natural, how you see in all our other videos. But we got to come in here. We finished this side. We pulled all these pavers up and that way our wall is going to sit straight down the sides of the patio in this area here. And then here tomorrow, we have to pull back some of these pavers here and then do the same thing on this side and then go down a few more inches and then cut our troughs in. Tomorrow morning, the first task at hand and then we're gonna get fabric liner fabric in and then we'll be able to rock and roll on this. So stay tuned for tomorrow. Well, good morning, everybody. We are uh, digging again and the guys are just finishing up digging up. We're going down to our 30 inch depth. I love digging. We all love digging. Love. They're all, we're in high spirits this morning. But like I said, we're going down to our 30 inches depth in here and then we're gonna start digging our trenches and our troughs for our wall that's gonna be sitting in here. We're expected to get rain today, so hopefully that holds off a little bit. That way we can get our liner and fabric in and we can tarp all the dirt. That way there's gonna be no mud and hopefully no mess, at least minimize the amount of mess that we're gonna have. So stay tuned and we will see how far we get today. We got our trenches dug and our hole excavated. So we are ready for our fabric liner and fabric and we're gonna be able to get going on this so far. So as you guys normally know about how we normally do our walls, cause it's become a norm on our videos now, is that we go down to our depth, which is 30 inches here. And then we went down another, Dan, what was that? Another, uh, we went to 38 inches? 40, average of 42. 42 inches. Base. Yeah, and that accounts for our base and our first course of block that is gonna support this wall. So that way it's, everything's nice and solid. So we're just fine tuning everything, getting all the rocks out of here, and then we're gonna be uh, putting in some fabric and liner. We got our uh, liner and fabric in, and uh, that doesn't look good. A little bit of rain coming towards us. What do you think about that, Chris? It hides the tears. <laughs> <laughs> Keep working, let's go. <laughs> well, we're trying, to, we're trying to get as much work as we can while it's just spitting on us right now until the clouds open up and want to give us a shower and everything. But we got our fabric liner in. We got our first course set, halfway done with that. Chris and Dan are doing a fantastic job. I'm over here trying to button up this bottom section of rock work, because like we said earlier, that side of the pond's all gonna be formal with all our bricks and then the other half is all gonna be our natural style with our natural boulder waterfall and everything so we're trying to make the best of it right now we got everything tarped and ready to go so that way when the rain does start to thicken up we're gonna get the heck out of here we're gonna continue on and we'll see you guys later well guys it is a little chilly we are out here yesterday we kind of had to call it a rain day we left here probably 2 30 on tuesday and the clouds just opened up so let me spin you guys around and show you what we have going on and what our plan of attack for today is so as you can see where you guys left off it wasn't too far after i shot that last video I'm showing you guys what we had done but we were able to set probably 95 percent of the bottom course Odie right now is just finishing up setting this wall right here and then the other guys are just going around drying off all the bricks we want that structure bond to stick to these bricks pretty well considering we're going down 30 inches so our focus today is probably going to be to get all these walls done and then while we're getting the walls done we're going to have a crew over here rocking in this side of the pond so we can kind of keep things moving and hopefully fingers crossed
us, depending on how everything goes, we could probably get this thing filled up today. We're probably not gonna finish today, considering how muddy it is, and we still have to build a retaining wall all back behind the bio fall. So depending on how today goes, we could possibly get that far, but who knows? So we're gonna try our best and go from there. Z right now is filling up our tanks over there, so that way, if we do get close to finishing, we can fill this thing up, and we'll have around 1,300 gallons to pump into this pond at our leisurely, because we have two cleanup pumps out here. So stay tuned, and we will see how today goes. Yeah.